there beautiful souls welcome to your solar eclipse reading so i'm doing this for all signs so if you are not supporting your sign make sure you do for this i would say check your rising sun and you can check your moon sign because i'm not only basing it on astrological which means that it's not only your rising okay this is an opportunity for all signs that don't get their readings and support their readings as much so for example in the last four weeks there's been um i think eight signs it's supposed to be only six so that can get more time for them that have had more readings and there's been four that have been on the less so um it doesn't apply to your sign unless you um it depends what placement you're checking sorry um because you you could be checking, you could be tuning in for your moon sign and your sun is another sign and it could be one of those four. So I'm really sorry. Um, anyway, so let's get into this reading. Let's see. But basically support your readings, like, engage. If you're resonating, drop an imagery, like it um, so that we continue to get the views and your readings. With this, the energy is going to be quite potent on the, obviously, the first couple of days you might have already felt this energy you could be feeling a bit lethargic um you could just wake up today as you see this and you could have felt oh my god what's what's just hit me it could be tomorrow um uh, and it's going to be potent for the next 10 days but the, the feeling of the impact on the physical health as well as a little bit on the emotional is going to be very much easing after the first few days um, but there is a strong energy up to up until the 10th as we go into a new moon cycle. Well, then with the solar eclipses, they go on to a six month cycle. Um, so you might want to watch this and then rewatch it in uh, a few days after. And then maybe in a couple of months or further down the line and see what cycles are coming in to wrap. Or maybe the reading gives you clarity on a couple of things that are now in your energy, but you're not sure about. So this is going to be intuitive, but I'm going to pull some tarot to add to it as well. Um, for you, I'm actually feeling, beautiful souls, that there's something about slow and steady wins the race. And I feel that that is going to be comforting for you. And kid you not, look at the chariot that's come out. You, you know, this is your energy that I'm feeling in this card as well. Um, and, you know, it's, it's where you've been stuck. Okay. There is a strong Virgo energy. And I feel like this stuckness is actually to push you to look inside of yourself push you to look at various aspects of your life and what are you juggling and what's important to you how are you allocating your time um slow and steady wins the race and i hope that's reassuring for some of you there's a need for vocal and expressing yourself and emotions um there could be for some of you i feel like a tower of self-worth of questioning yourself so this is where you know, this could tie in with the self-reflection time. Look who I see, like the tower there. It's not come out, I'm not pulling it out. Judgment, there we go. So a, a perception of how you see yourself worth. What's valuable to you in your life? Um, you could be also at this moment in time focusing on your family, your inner circle, um, the future of your communication is really key. We've got Aquarius energy here. Look at this. Four cards and four major arcana. So for you, this is a very strong energy. Obviously, it affects Scorpio, uh, Scorpio rising and sun, just in case you're a Scorpio moon tuning in. But this is very significant for you, especially this period in your life. So this next couple of weeks and into six months is a very significant period for you a lot of it is going to be to do with how you see things how you see yourself how you perceive things it's going to push you to focus on what's important um, it's going to focus on your future but also how do you see your future how do you see yourself communication is really needed here Communication maybe on how you feel as well is really needed. Oh, look at this. I cannot, we cannot like six cards and six major arcana. This is the universe at play. And this is really divine healing and the universe helping you with that. 
there's the expression of how you feel okay so things of significant choices are coming around significant choices around also love the way you present yourself have you presented yourself with your heart or do you present yourself in a closed off energy there's a breakthrough communication where i say about expressing your needs as well maybe you've been impeding your needs and giving to other people um rather than yourself so maybe this includes some lifestyle changes strong leo strong success is on the horizon for you i mean this is beautiful i i honestly maybe there's been a stuckness or a feeling of being stuck or slowly going forward that patience has led you into introspection and will be leading you into healing and seeing the right choices around significant things in your life, which brings in the success and the sun card, the ultimate happiness that you've needed. Really be careful where you're dedicating your energy. Look at your lifestyle. Um, you are very close to expressing yourself. Creative expression is also on the horizon for you people that you care about too um you might be helping them this is where i say you've been giving to others and maybe not so much to yourself you've also this is what will be breaking you've also held yourself back from some opportunities and significances in your life and i don't think you're going to be doing that after the universe is finished with helping you heal and move forward um, you're going to see with where things or people have held you back as well. This could be your inner circle. There's quite a bit around youthful energy, although I don't see any pages. A lot of divine, as I say, and the page comes up. Youthful energy. Are you looking after some children, your children? Are you working with the youth? And maybe you're helping them. Maybe you find that children are kind of like attracted to you by that. I don't mean it in a weird way, but maybe you're standing in a lift or in a shop and the child is looking at you like curiously and you find the next day something else like that happens. A baby in a pram is looking at you curiously, that kind of energy. You're coming into your divine feminine energy here, seeking the stability within your emotions, but also knowing that you are the stability and the healthy emotions that you've needed to express are helping you ground and move forward. There's youthful energy, like I said, there's some upheavals, but there's very strong breakthrough in terms of your desired results. There's a lot of compassion and understanding in this energy as well, which is absolutely beautiful. And the compassion and understanding is being noticed back and forth, okay? And you're tapping into your youthful self as well. Doesn't matter how old you are. I've heard someone say, oh yeah, whatever, I'm this age. No, you're tapping into your youthful self. You're bringing in the new desired chapters within your life. Um, and you, there's a positive journey ahead. You've been, you will be if you haven't already been purging issues and, and it's leading you to make yourself happy. Again, there was some, or there is some tower moments of self-worth or what's valuable to you. You need to focus on your family, your inner circle. You need to focus on the future. You need to focus on communication, on how you feel. Um, and also allow yourself to have this pace that the universe is controlling, which is a healing, a patient pace. And don't feel like, oh, I can't control everything around me, which then gets you into insomnia and a lot of anxiety and sort of um, worry. And you don't want that. You want to avoid feeling um, dissatisfied and devo demotivated because honestly, there's beautiful energy here of the areas that I've mentioned. So everyone, I hope this resonates. Don't forget to revisit it. If you want personalized reading, energy healing, or any of my services, everything's always in the description box below. It's also in the bio. Drop me an image, drop me a like, share with whoever might resonate with this energy as well. And remember to revisit it. Let me know what other content you're enjoying on the channel. Let me know where you're from and stay blessed and take care of yourselves. Bye for now.